So the polar opposite of Donald Trump is Khabib. Khabib didn't focus on being perceived as the best, but he actually worked for being the best. There's a, there's a difference here. Being perceived as the best by others and actually being the best. So his training under the guidance of his own father was all about fighting competitions, practicing with bears. There are videos of Khabib fighting with bear since childhood, since he was a little kid. So he actually worked for being the best at his art. His father was highly, highly disciplined, made a routine for Khabib, which Khabib had to follow since his childhood till his adulthood. His father actually made him fight with more experienced fighters when Khabib was not that experienced and made him lose so that he became immune to losing. He became, he developed a thick skin mentally. He developed that much tenacity that losing didn't affect him at all whatsoever. So Khabib lost, lost a lot of fights with way more experienced fighters. Khabib actually said that in an interview that he used to cry. He used to go back to his father and cry that he lost a match, a crucial match. And Khabib used to ask his father why he made him fight a more experienced fighter and his father used to tell him that these are just steps that you have to follow these this is how you have to train this is how you will become the best his father also had a very harsh eating routine that you only you have to take dates honey and some nuts that's it that's all you can eat to maintain his water level to maintain his weight which is a very harsh routine again very harsh practice routine very harsh dieting routine and khabib also said that his father never used to actually congratulate him for a win he just said yeah you did good but there is something else now we have to train for another step now we have to go beyond this so his father actually maintained that insecurity in him of always practicing always working hard always being the best at his skill he had no option but to be the best at his skill over time he developed that insecurity no i have to be the best i have to be the best eventually he overtrained he trained so much that his insecurity just went away poof if you watch his interviews watch khabib's interview he's not a toxic person at all he's a very funny guy chilled out guy show me your name show me your name hey, coach please come hey. here you know chernobyl tell yeah. captain america this is very dangerous <laughs> tell this guy cut his nail look, look. look this is my glove you see brother, no it's mine islam. no brother this is islam this is, this this is, is look, my look, look. This is islam glove look what is it no no this is this is <laughs> <laughs> he he in fact talks about not harming his opponent gravely. He actually talks about that how during matches he used to tell them, dude, you need to quit. He used to tell his opponent, dude, you need to quit. It's over now. It's over. The match is over. You will get hurt. He is not a toxic person at all. Why so? Because he overtrained. He overtrained to a level no person can hold a candle to him when it comes to mixed martial arts, when it comes to actual fighting. He has fought his whole life since his childhood so that insecurity just poof went away because he overtrained he did his best no man can go beyond this the only improvement is left is in terms of better equipment yes you can get better equipment you can get better trainers but the amount of time he has spent on training the number of matches that he has fought you cannot cross that it's over the game of time and effort he has won he has given everything his heart and soul to it hence that insecurity is not there you cannot even see that insecurity which drives him to be the best now it's gone because he is the best he has not seen a competitor who is even close to his skills that's why he has 21 wins with zero losses because nobody holds a candle to him nobody is equivalent to him and that is not rude that is not narcissism it's just that he's the best because he has put effort 
and he has fought matches. There is nothing that he has not done with the present technology and coaching available. So he's the flip side of Donald Trump. Again, the insecurity of being the best was there initially, but now you cannot even see that. It's not even there now. And you can see that his father insecurity was to be the best and he made his son that best person. For the lack of the better word, I'm calling it insecurity. You can call it determination, whatever, but I think insecurity is the proper word because the idea that, oh my God, I might lack behind someone and hence I have to give 24 seven to this no matter what because I have to be the best that can only be defined in one word as insecurity that is insecurity that propelled him to go for 10 on 10 determination he fought people who were more experienced and better than him and lost to them and then came back again to fight them again that's determination that's nothing else then discipline his father gave him a very hard discipline very rigid discipline to follow that again 10 on 10 discipline determination 10 on 10 discipline 10 on 10 insecurity 10 on 10 but he went beyond insecurity he doesn't look insecure at all 